Hey, what's going on, people? Um, unless you've been living under a rock, we all know what's going on in Baltimore right now and all the protests or the quote unquote riots for the death of Freddie Gray. And, you know, it's just it's it's another wake up call that we have a big issue here in America with police brutality and people uh, wrongfully using their firearms and bad conduct. And, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people out there protesting. Some people out there, you know, tearing shit up or whatever. And, um, you know, like I said before, I don't, you know, when we look at our history, I don't feel like us going to our own communities, tearing our community up in order to make a statement is the right thing to do. I feel like there's a lot more productive ways we can fight the system. And fight what's going on without tearing up the community that our kids and our families have to live in. But I do understand the frustration from those people who come out of those type of environments or living within that community and the frustration that they deal with on a day to day basis. So I understand where it comes from, but I don't condone what some people are doing down there. That being said, you know, it was a um, story that came, I believe, yesterday of a mother. That, uh, you know, she was, I guess she was somewhere watching TV and she saw her son on the news throwing rocks at the police. Cause it's, you know, it's young people out there too. You know, they want to be, um, a part of what's going on right now. Some kids actually care about the cause and what's going on and actually want to make a stance. And then you have those kids out there who are just out there because it's trendy or because, you know, uh, their friends are out there because that's how impressionable minds are. A lot of times they just jump on a bandwagon of things simply because it's hot. But the mom saw her son, you know, down there throwing rocks and protesting and everything. And, you know, she went down there and she snatched his ass, you know, uh, you know, she, she embarrassed him in front of, uh, live cameras in front of his friends. There was a lot of people out there. You know, she was hitting him upside the head and everything. And, you know, a lot of people were, were calling this woman, um, you know, the mother of the year, you know, for going down there and, uh, you know, pulling her son out of that situation. And, you know, I looked at this from a lot of different angles because I'm the type of person I like to analyze things. I don't like to, you know, just uh, always jump out the gate from a, a racial aspect or even a historical aspect. I like to really analyze things. And, you know, when people are calling this woman the mother of the year, I have to disagree with that because we have to understand that our children are seeing what's going on out here in the world. When we look at our history, we see what happened with the civil rights movement and you know, the Black Panther Party and et cetera, et cetera. And our children want to go out there and make a stance and make it better for their future. And even though I understand this mother being upset and being concerned about her son, I feel like, you know, it, it, it was out of pocket to go down there and embarrass him like that for standing up for his future. You know, I feel like, you know, and I understand that she's a mother. I understand that, you know, a lot of times you think of, you think about things, you react different when it's your child involved. But at the same time, I feel like if it was an issue, she was concerned for her son. She should have went down there and said, you know what? I'm pulling you out of this situation. You don't need to be down here throwing rocks at these cops because they see you doing that. They will shoot you down. I understand that aspect, but to go out there and, and embarrass this boy and, you know, uh, you know, hit him all aside the head for basically standing up for his future and, and, and wanting to be involved and in something that will affect not only him, but affect his children and, and the generation after that. I felt like she was out of pocket for that. And I can't give her the mother of the war of the year war. I, I just can't. I know a lot of people saw this, you know, from from uh, different perspectives. And like I said, I looked at it from different perspectives, too. But um there's there's better ways to handle a situation like that. And part of this boils down to, like I've said in plenty of my videos, that I feel like, you know, us as parents, we need to start educating a lot of these young kids that are out here because what's happened is that they're creating situations or they have that energy to create change 
but they don't know how to go about it. They think, you know, okay, well, if somebody gets gunned down by the police in our community, we're going to go out here and we're going to tear stuff up. Or we're going to tear up our community. We're going to throw rocks at the police. Or we're going to, um, you know, basically cause havoc within our own community. And that's just lack of knowledge and lack of education. And it's not just the young kids. There's a lot of young adults out here that are out here that weren't taught how you go about certain things in a productive way, but also in a safe way so that you yourself and people that you care about and love don't get hurt. And I feel like that's the approach that this mother should have approached her son with. Not going out there and, you know, hitting them all upside the head because, you know, he, he he's fighting back towards a system that is trying to keep him as a permanent underclass and deprive his people and are not treating his people fairly. I think it sent out the wrong type of message. And, you know, there's a lot of people, and, and, and I, I know this is towards, you know, those who uh, are in, you know, their, their late 30s, 40s, or 50s, they, they, they kind of have, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Somewhat of a, of a we need to conform type of mindset, or we need to be more passive about things. And, you know, I, I don't know, it could be age because, you know, I, I, I've, I've known people in my family that, you know, were, were bulldogs and they were my age. But as you get older, you know, you, you tend to, um, I, I guess, be more reluctant about standing up or you got some people who are comfortable and they don't want to jeopardize their livelihoods. And then, you know, you just, you, you have that fear that your son, your daughter, someone that you love might get gunned down. So I understand it from that aspect, but also I think there's somewhat of a, of a passive type of mindset, you know, just like a couple of, what was that, a week or two ago when, you know, uh, we had brother Isaiah Washington come on talking about we need to adapt. And even though, you know, I, I somewhat understand his perspective, I think it's the wrong perspective to send out to a group of people who have been um, treated badly for, for the past 500 years, the times when uh, you know, we try to adapt, quote unquote, or we try to conform or we try to, you know, just basically build our own economical base and, you know, basically just do our own thing. We're not going to we're not going to fool wife or we're just going to live our life, do our own thing. What happened? They bombed our city. They, they, they destroyed our economical base. We still got kicked in the ass and dogs sicked on us when we quote unquote adapted or uh, try to conform or basically just do our own thing. So it's like when 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 you tr when you continuously try to do the same thing over and over and you you continuously have this scared passive mindset, you're basically just repeating the same historical things that have not worked for us for the last what fifty sixty hundred years. And I think it's time that we take a different approach. Yes, we have to be safe. Yes, we have to be smart. But it's time that we start taking a different approach. The times when, you know, we're, we're passive or, you know, we, we, we want to, well, you know, we're being targeted wearing this type of clothing or, or driving this type of car or living in this type of neighborhood. So we need to just uh, basically just conform or switch our game up so that we're not harassed. Those, those days of over, we've done that. We've done that for years and our situation has not changed. So I find it funny when, you know, people bring up that scenario, but it, it really relates back to, you know, this situation with this, this mother and her son. You know, I, I don't think that she handled this in the right way. Matter of fact, I, I feel that she did not handle this in the right way. Now, I don't know where, you know, this child's father was, you know, I don't know if, you know, he was in the picture or whatever, but. You know, that could have played a part into it because, you know, fathers, we have a different way of handling our sons. You know, you want your son to, to be a warrior and to go out there and fight for things. No, you don't want them to harm themselves or, you know, get themselves killed. But at the same time, you do need to stand up. And, you know, I, I can't give this woman the, uh, the, 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 the mother of the year. Why? I, I can't. And I'm not coming down this woman because I understand where she was coming from. That was her son. And, you know, she, she was scared. You know, she knows that, you know, her son can get shot down for, for pretty much nothing. But that doesn't mean that you take him away from that fight of trying to progress his future and progress his people. 
I mean, we had people, you know, back back within the civil rights movement that were that were young, that were that were getting, you know, worse treatment that we're getting right now for protesting. But it didn't stop them. So what why should we stop? I think it's time that we really just start switching up the game, man. We really start uh coming up with different taxes because the same taxes that we've been using, you know, coming out here just tearing up our communities, but nothing changes. You know solely just marching and, and thinking that, you know, well, maybe the so-called dominant society will give us a break because we're out here unifying and marching. Yes, that helps, but that's not the only thing that's going to change this. Being passive, feeling like you have to change your game up or suppress what you do in order to move and shake through, through this so-called, you know, dominant society, that has to change. That mindset has to change. Because you can turn on your TV, you can look at society and tell that none of that, that, that us being passive, us being submissive, us, you know, uh, just, 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 you know, going to church and praying and praying that everything will be all right. None of that is working. Now, I find it funny. Any other time a black woman disciplines her child, especially a single parent black woman, it's child abuse. Child protective custody need to get involved. But when she goes out there and she disciplines her child in front of the media and takes him away from fighting for his rights, all of a sudden she's the mother of the year. So this is stuff that you really have to think about and you have to analyze. You want to make a change, you hit these people in their pockets. You get more involved politically. That's how you make a change. You start unifying. Not listening to these coon ass people that you know, want, want, want to buck dance for the so-called dominant society or these people that want to keep doing the same thing we've been doing for hundreds and hundreds of years thinking we're going to get a different result. It's time that we start putting our foot in these people's ass because every time you turn on the television, you get on the internet, whatever media site you use or form of entertainment or that you use to catch news, we see police brutality and we see misconduct. Wake up and think about it.